Greetings everyone, this is Kamisha from Kamisha's Corner and I am making peaches and cream handmade soap made with fresh aloe instead of water. So I'm going to make this a two-tone soap. I'll do a bit of a swirl. Making a bit of a mess there.
heart-shaped house. And we built this heart-shaped house and not didn't even realize we were designing a heart-shaped house. <laughs> my soap started to separate and so now I put it I put it in my crock pot to cook it to see if I can get it to emulsify it will not emulsify as you can see it separating so I'm putting it in my crock pot I'm going to cook it in hopes that I can get it to emulsify through cooking and I think this happened because I'm not sure actually <laughs> but it's a fragrance that I don't normally use, so it's doing this weird thing, and we're going to see if we can fix it. So. been cooking my soap to try to get it to stay together and it looks like it's somewhat working but not a hundred percent just yet I'm gonna keep working with it Just turned the, the crock pot down because I see it's starting to bubble over. And I'm just going to keep stirring and hope that it doesn't boil over. And it looks like it might, and I'm hoping it doesn't. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs>
it's it's gonna work because these are just a simple material, a simple method. I think simple disobedience is a reasonable is a reasonable approach and a reasonable solution. You know, if enough people create enough pressure that it it would be necessary to create openings in the system that don't exist yet. Actually Greetings, everyone. This is Kanisha from Kanisha's Corner again, and this is really just a continuation of me with my the last soap that I made, which was peaches and cream. So yes, this is the soap that exploded, and I may not have to explain this because I might have all of the videos back to back. Just in case I didn't. Yes, the soap overflowed over my crock pot. <laughs> but um it was good. So this is my soap that I'm cutting several uh oh. This actually has to move over so because this is in the way. Yeah, so I decided to use my crinkle cutter. I like the crinkle cutter. So I've been very late with uploading the video of me soaping on my travels. I only uploaded one when I was in North Carolina, but I haven't done the other one yet. And you can see a little bit of glycerin rivers at the bottom of this. I don't know if it can show up on the screen or not. Right at the bottom. That is okay. That is the beauty of natural handmade soap with no suffocants. All the natural loving glycerin, skin loving glycerin that is created through the making of soap is still in there. So, those are, or I should say that ingredient is the, um, oh you can see it more in this one. That ingredient is, you can see like that line, glycerin rivers, creates like a little bit of a line. That is the humectant. That is a humectant. 
that is created when soap is made naturally. And with all of us, of course, handmade soap makers, we love the humectant, so we don't extract it. We leave it in the soap because we know how our skin loves that. It helps to create a nice, loving, moisturizing bar. And this is also made with, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Elite Clay. Elite Clay is what's giving it, it its color. It's an orange clay, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, you know, and you know the proper pronunciation, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Yes. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to share it on your page with your friends. So, look, there's this lovely soap maker. She loves making soap, and... I love her videos, and you might love them too, and you can share them with your friends. Another glycerin river there. And sorry for all the noise in the background. I don't know why there's so many sirens outside. I don't know if that's a fire truck or what. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully you can't. But, you know, my studio is by my window, so... Or I should say my corner. Oh, Kamisha, this corner is by the window. I hope this is not too dark in here because I'm right by the window. So I don't think it is. But sometimes the light from outside create, creates a darkness. It doesn't look like it in the video, though. I can see myself in the video. As I was saying, please, if you like my videos, don't forget to share it. Leave a comment. Let me know. If there's anything you would like to always wonder, can you soak with tomatoes? Can you do that? Or if you always wanted to know, can you soak with a certain ingredient? Um, can you do a video on that? By all means. And if it's something I've never used before, we can experiment together. I don't mind. I like experimenting. So I am done. Please subscribe, hit that notifications button, the little circle with my icon should come up, that's the subscribe button. Don't also forget to hit the notifications bell, so that when I do upload another video, you'll be sure to get notified, so you won't miss a thing. This is the last one. Thank you for watching. Fabulous people, and I will see you on the next video. Kamishita's from Kamishita Corner, signing out.